achieve more by working more purposefully. Oftentimes, it's more important to focus on why you're doing things instead of obsessing about what to do and how to do them. Don't get me wrong, you have to be competent. So you have to know what to do and how to do it and how to follow a certain sequence of actions. However, if you don't have a clear understanding of your purpose, a key ingredient is missing. This is the key ingredient you need to take your results to the next level. This is why you need to follow the steps below. Write and rewrite your grand visions for your life. What do you want out of your life? By this point, you should already have a set of big goals that you have clarified in video 4. In this video, you're going to keep writing and rewriting these grand visions. Be as clear as you can. What's important is that they are vivid in your mind. They have to stand out. They have to trigger an emotional state. What purposes does your vision reveal? When you write down all your visions, you should be able to read between the lines. You should be able to connect the dots. By reading your grand vision, you should be able to see the big picture of your life. What does it reveal about you? What direction does it call you to? What kind of person do you have to be to achieve these? Allow yourself to get pumped up. Allow yourself to get inspired. Work towards those purposes. When you read your grand visions, allow yourself to feel purposeful. Allow yourself to get excited by the fact that you are not just surviving day to day. There's a reason you're still breathing. There is a logic that you're following. All of this leads somewhere. If you are able to get that sense of direction and meaning, allow yourself to feel motivated. Unlike most people who are just simply chasing their tails and going around in circles, you actually have a direction. What's more, every single day is a day closer to your big objectives. You're not just going through the motions. You're not just wasting day after day seeing one day blur into another. Every challenge you overcome gets you closer. Every solution you come up with gets you closer. Practice purpose-driven problem solving. As you pursue your goals, chances are you probably will hit a rough spot from time to time. This is to be expected. That's how life works. The big difference between winners and losers is that winners are able to snap back up very quickly when they get knocked down by circumstances. They don't wallow in self-pity. They don't waste time looking for other people to blame. They definitely don't look at themselves as victims. As much as possible, when they get knocked down, they spring back up, and they try again and again and again. Sure, they get knocked down again, but they keep trying. Losers, on the other hand, stay down. They think that the reason they lost is that they were born poor, their parents were divorced or separated, people did not treat them properly, or they got abused. In other words, they look at themselves as victims. The world owes them something. Stop thinking like a victim because the longer you do that, the longer it will take for you to achieve victory assuming you achieve it. There are only two types of people in this world, victims or victors. When you practice purpose-driven work, you are positioning yourself as a victor. Now, a victor is not some sort of magical person who is immune to life's challenges. There will be setbacks. There will be failures. What's important is how you deal with them. Focus on purpose-driven problem solving. Oftentimes, these big challenges that threaten to rob you of your opportunities are actually opportunities in disguise. This is how winners get over because they look at their problems as simple stepping stones to higher states of success. Losers, on the other hand, look at their problems and stay so fixated that the only thing that they can focus on is their problems. Let me tell you, when you focus on any problem, it gets bigger and bigger and your resolve gets weaker and weaker. Stop looking at the problem and start focusing on what you can do to solve that problem. Focus on your pride. You're smarter than this. You're more resilient than this. You're more resourceful than this. Most importantly, focus on your purpose and the challenges fall into perspective. I'm not saying that they become ridiculously easy. I'm not claiming that. What I'm saying is that you now have a better framework and a better emotional state so you can solve these problems. They no longer have to be paralyzing. They no longer have to debilitate you and rob you of your willpower. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.